Welcome to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, How to Hack the Nintendo Wii, Part 14. Today I'm going to show you how to add Nintendo DS games to your Wii. Something to note that's very important about Nintendo DS games is that they don't play very well on the Wii. They're either very glitchy or they don't play at all. So keep that in mind when you're adding these games. I've actually left a link in the description below that will show you a compatibility list. So try and follow that if you can. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below. If you open it up, you'll notice that it's in a different language. So use Chrome and then hit the translate button. Once you're on this website, you can download from any one of these servers. Just click on the link and it will start downloading the programs that you need. Once you have them downloaded, just show them in your downloads folder and extract. Once you have it extracted, open it up, open it up again, and you want to copy this apps and this DS folder, put it on your SD card, just like this. Go into your apps folder here and you can see that it has downloaded, or sorry, it has transferred. And then go into your DS folder and there's three folders in here. The BIOS is already there. There's already a game. And there's a folder for your saves. So you want to add a channel now. You've also downloaded a channel with that file that you downloaded earlier. It's in this canal folder. So just open it up and copy and paste it into your WADS and channel folder as you've done several times before throughout these videos. From here, you can add whatever ROMs that you want to. Again, keep in mind, a lot of ROMs don't work. Make sure you have a look at that compatibility list and give it a try. So most of these are supposed to work. I'm crossing my fingers that they do. And uh, once you're done adding your ROMs, you might as well head over to your Wii. So back at the Wii, go into your homebrew, homebrew channel, click start. And you're going to want to go into your multi-mod manager. Again, you've done this before. This shouldn't be new to you. Click load. So once you're in multi-mod manager, go into iOS manager. Go to 249 and hit the home button once you're on top of it. Once that's done, hit B to go back and then go into your WAD manager. Go down to WADs. Go into channels and find the channel you just installed. Click A, click A again, and it is installing your channel. Hit any button to continue. So from here, you can just exit out back to the Wii menu. Back at the Wii menu, here's your Nintendo DS channel. So let's click on it and we'll click start. It's asking where the mods are. They're on my SD card. So I'm just going to pick one of these and see how it works. Now this game did take a long time to load. I've skipped through all that loading time, but uh, it did load regardless. I'm not going to show any gameplay. I just want to show you that here it is. It loaded. And you can now play Nintendo DS games on your Wii if you like. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.